In this video, I want to take a quick moment and talk about sharing a FileMaker solution between your computer or laptop and other users or other devices such as iPads or iPhones, or maybe even another office worker on their own laptop. Now to get things rolling here, I'm going to need a FileMaker solution on my local computer and the one I'm going to use for this demo is FM Starting Point, which is our free starter solution that's available online. Now when people start off trying out FileMaker, they typically install it on their local device like an iPad or a laptop computer. Of course the great benefit and the true power of the FileMaker platform is collaborative sharing between yourself and the rest of your team. Whether your team is in the office or out across the internet, FileMaker is exceptionally good at sharing a solution with all these users simultaneously. Now if you run a FileMaker file locally on your laptop or iPad, that makes for extremely fast performance on your device. Of course the downside to this is that sharing a local database to other users or other devices can be a bit of a challenge to set up if you've never done it before. But once you've seen it done and you understand the process, it's a snap. Now if you've watched our other videos, you know that there's numerous ways to share your FileMaker solution with the rest of your team. So let's talk about these three methods. The first method is called peer-to-peer -peer sharing. And that's where a copy of FileMaker Pro that's running locally on someone's desktop or laptop computer, Mac or Windows, can actually share a file with other FileMaker users that are on the network. Now peer-to-peer -peer sharing is useful for quick ad hoc networks. However, I would recommend that you only use it for quick little projects that maybe last a day or two and not for any serious extended projects. Peer-to-peer -peer sharing is designed for quick ad hoc networks with a limit of up to five devices connected to a user's laptop or desktop computer and that laptop or desktop is sharing the file with other devices on the network. Now the upside to peer-to-peer -peer sharing is that it's basically free with FileMaker Pro. However, there are a tremendous number of downsides to this ad hoc setup. So let me just briefly cover the downsides. First off, with peer-to-peer -peer sharing, there's no automatic backups of your database. This is extremely dangerous because if anything happens, you could lose your database and it could be gone like forever. And of course, FileMaker Server and FileMaker Cloud are designed to back up the database automatically. Also, peer-to-peer -peer sharing does not support data encryption as the data moves from one user to the next user. If you have a user accessing the data across the internet, that data won't be encrypted. And of course, if your data is not encrypted, it is potentially exposed for someone else to hack in and read the information. Is this likely to happen? Probably not. But the reality is, is that encryption is becoming a standard on the internet. Additionally, there's no support for more than five users, and there's no support for users accessing the database with a web browser, which is how Android users can access the database. So there's no Android access, and there's no access if you want to build a custom web page with PHP for your public customers or public users to access. If you need to share a database for a couple hours between you and a couple users, then peer-to-peer -peer sharing might be just what you need. So real quick, to enable peer-to-peer -peer sharing, I'm going to be in my FileMaker solution right here. I'm going to select File at the top of the screen and go down to Sharing and then go over to Share with FileMaker Clients. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Network Sharing radio button on and then I'm going to select the file that I want to share on the left and then select the All Users radio button on the right side. So now we've turned on peer-to-peer -peer sharing on my computer on the local network here. Now I'm going to jump over to my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and select FileMaker Go. I'm going to fire this up and I see several options at the bottom. I see Recent, Device, and Hosts. I can press the Hosts button and automatically FileMaker Go scans my local area network and it sees the copy of FileMaker Pro running peer-to-peer. -peer. I can click on my laptop name right here and then select a the database to open up. Now as you can see, my iPad is now accessing my locally hosted copy 
of FM Starting Point. Now to be clear, this copy of FM Starting Point does not live on my iPad and it wasn't copied to my iPad. I am purely accessing the bits of data that I need through the network in real time. I can go over here to my contacts database. I can put in Tom right here and then I can also jump back to my iPad and you can see that the name hasn't changed yet but if I click over here in FileMaker Pro the change is saved and you see the iPad update in real time. So once again we're sharing the information live. There's a live link between these two machines. So in summary this is what FileMaker calls peer-to-peer -peer sharing. It's quick to set up but it has a tremendous number of limitations. Because of the inherent limitations of peer-to-peer -peer sharing my team at RC Consulting generally doesn't recommend the use of peer-to-peer -peer sharing with your databases for any sort of serious or mission critical application. We recommend that users use FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. Moving up to FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud eliminates a lot of the headaches and hassles and provides a great deal of robust support including improved reliability, encryption, automatic backup protection, as well as web browser access through a technology called WebDirect. And of course WebDirect is how your Android devices can gain access to a FileMaker application. So here you can see I've dived into FileMaker Server and this is the administrative console and on the left hand side of the screen I can see various options I can select. This allows me to look at the databases that I'm running on the FileMaker Server or the users that are connected to the FileMaker Server itself. To access your database anywhere on the internet all you need to do is make sure that your FileMaker server is properly configured with a static IP address. I can also press it right here and see the backup schedules that are running to automatically backup the FileMaker solutions on this server. Now to set up FileMaker server you're going to need to install it on a Macintosh or Windows system. As a general rule your IT support team would do this for you. However if you're going to install FileMaker server yourself Make sure that you're running this on a modern Macintosh or Windows system equipped with solid state drives and at least 8 gigabytes of memory, if not more. Also, if you want your users to access the database out on the internet, this server will have to have a static IP address assigned to it. A static IP address is a unique internet address that never changes for that particular computer or server. Most users, when they restart their computers or mobile devices, they get a new randomly assigned internet address. However, a server needs to have a static address. That way, users can always find it with a given name. And that name never changes. Now, when installing your FileMaker server, you can install the Mac or Windows system in your local office, or you can arrange to have that server installed up in a data center somewhere. You can actually take that physical hardware and have someone host it in their data center. So that's another option as well. Of course, hosting a FileMaker server up in a data center is going to provide you with redundant electrical power, redundant internet connections, and some level of technical support should there be a problem. Now for some customers, an alternative to FileMaker server is FileMaker Cloud. FileMaker Cloud is conceptually very similar to FileMaker Server. It provides robust, professional, reliable FileMaker hosting with all the backups and encryption that you would expect. However, FileMaker Cloud doesn't run on a Mac or Windows computer. It actually runs on an Amazon server located up in an Amazon AWS data center. Now, most people understand that Amazon's become a major player in retail sales. However, Amazon is also a huge player in creating high-tech computer data centers where racks and racks of servers are lined up and configured and set up running around the clock. Amazon has data centers through every continent in the world. And FileMaker Cloud is designed explicitly to run on servers up in these data centers. Now the software costs between FileMaker Server and FileMaker Cloud are identical, but the difference is are largely that with a Mac and Windows server you're going to have to buy that server and invest in that hardware. With Amazon data centers you're basically renting a server from Amazon either by the hour or by the month or by the year 
and that allows you to run your FileMaker server without purchasing server hardware. So that's pretty cool. Also, the installation and setup of the FileMaker server is typically done much faster with FileMaker Cloud than it's done with FileMaker Server. There are some other differences between these two products, but either product is great for an organization who wants to share mission-critical applications. Now you can upload a FileMaker solution to a FileMaker server or the FileMaker cloud by using the same technique. I'm in my copy of FM starting point and at the top of the screen I can see the icon for share. I'm going to click share and then upload to FileMaker server. You'll need to know the address of your FileMaker server. The address of the server will be either an IP address or some sort of domain name. Once you have that address, you're going to need to know the administrative username and password for that particular server. You can put that over here on the right side. FileMaker Pro then initiates a conversation with FileMaker Server, and that allows us to post up our new FileMaker solution. So using this technique, FileMaker Pro is uploading our FileMaker solution to the server, and then the server begins to host the file automatically for us. So to wrap things up, you can see that the FileMaker platform is great for collaborating with groups of users who want to share information. Whether those users are running on Macs or Windows computers, desktops or laptops, whether they're using iPhones or iPads, or they're maybe using some sort of Android device, FileMaker provides access for all these users. FileMaker Pro is the software you're going to use to access the database on a desktop or laptop computer. FileMaker Go is the software designed specifically for the iPhone and iPad. And Android users will want to use FileMaker WebDirect, which is hosted by FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud.